What is going on guys and welcome back to another setup video with me CXC and in this episode I'm just going to be going through a full setup guide on the Yuzu switch emulator so we're going to go to the Yuzu website type the link on Google I'll put the link in the description to the website as well so we're going to download Windows times 64 double click the installer.exe file I'm just going to wait for that to pop up it might take a second You'll probably have a different list of uh, options here. Obviously, I've already got it installed, but just go through the default process of installation. First thing you want to do is open up the Yuzu folder, file open Yuzu folder, and then go to a folder called keys. I'll put a download link in the description for these two files that you're going to need to get this um, emulator working. You need the product keys and title keys. And then you're going to go to your Bluetooth options and set up a controller. If you're using a wired controller, you're obviously using a wired controller. But I'm going to be setting up the Joy-Cons. My Joy-Cons have actually died. Um, there's no battery in them at the moment. So uh, this video is pretty annoying to make. But um, either way, I'm going to disconnect one of these. I'm just going to go through the process of setting one of these up. So that, that's removed, we're going to go add Bluetooth device, Bluetooth device, wait for it to pop up, there we go, Joy-Con, and done. Then we're going to go over to configuration, and then you can just set up these controllers. These are the settings that I've got set, so if you want to just follow what's on screen, uh, this should be automatically set up to be honest, but I'm just doing it to save time. So we've got that set up, and then you're going to want to tick on general, multi-core CPU options available. And then just pause on the video to go through the settings that I've got going right now. These are all the default settings. The only thing I ticked was um, multi-core CPU. I haven't changed any of this. And CPU, this is just the CPU accuracy. I've just kept that accurate, which is default. And if you're having trouble on OpenGL, I'd try it Vulkan. It's just running fine for me on OpenGL, so I'm just leaving it as it is. Audio settings, and I've already done the controller settings. So you're going to want to make two folders, one for the games and one for the DLC and the updates. And to install updates, you just click the button at the top, Install NAND Titles. And then as I'm showing you now, you can just right click on any game, go to the mod folder. I've got some mods installed for Breath of the Wild. I've got a 60 FPS mod and a 1080p mod. So this is the 60 FPS mod. I'll put a link in the description for a website for some good mods as well. So that's that set up. And there's also an FPS counter, so we'll be able to see straight away if the mod's working. So I'm going to double click the game, launch that. And as you can see at the bottom right, there's an FPS counter, so we'll be able to see on the start menu if that 60 FPS unlockers working might take a second to launch do you need quite a powerful PC to run this obviously if your computer is not powerful enough to run it then it's not powerful enough to run it but if you are struggling with anything then let me know in the comments and I'll try and help out where I can but yeah guys that's pretty much it really quick really straightforward no messing around hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'm going to play some Breath of the Wild so I'll catch you in the next video thank you for watching goodbye